objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to define line of symmetry identify line of symmetry in given figures understand the lines of symmetry for regular polygons understand the mirror line understand the rotational symmetry and Find the order of the rotational symmetry of the given figures. Look at these figures. The line you can see is the line of symmetry of these figures. Line of symmetry, what is that? When we fold the figure about this line of symmetry, we will see that the two parts of the figure is coinciding. Let's take this figure now. When we fold this figure from the center, we will see that the two parts of this figure are coinciding. So we will say that this figure is symmetrical and this line is line of symmetry. Priya, can you now identify the line of symmetry in these designs? I will try. In this figure, this is the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry. How? When we fold this design this way, the two parts so formed will coincide. So this is the line of symmetry. Good, you have learnt now. And in these figures, these are the lines of symmetry. Now I will tell you about lines of symmetry in regular polygons. Do you know what a regular polygon is? It is a closed figure made up of several line segments. And triangle is a polygon made up of at least three line segments. You are right. And a regular polygon is one whose all the line segments are equal. And the measures of all the angles are equal. Therefore, a square, an equilateral triangle, a regular pentagon, a regular hexagon, are the examples of regular polygons. There all the sides are equal and the measures of their angles are also equal. Are the regular polygons equal? Yes, the regular polygons are symmetrical figures and have many lines of symmetry. Look at these figures. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. A square has four lines of symmetry. A regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry. And a regular hexagon has six lines of symmetry. A shape has line of symmetry when one half of it is the mirror image of the other half. Now let's check whether the line drawn on A is the line of symmetry or not. We take its one half and place it in front of mirror. Wow! It's one half is equal to the other half. This means that this is the line of symmetry. Let's play a game now. Which game? Punching game. In this game, we will fold these papers and punch a hole. This is so simple. Now open these papers. We can see two holes which are symmetric. The fold is a line of symmetry. Now look at this clock. It's going round and round. This means it is rotating. The hands of the clock rotate in a clockwise rotation. And when something rotates other than clockwise, then what type of rotation is it? Then we call that rotation as anti-clockwise rotation. When an object rotates, its shape and size do not change. This rotation turns an object about a fixed point. This point is called the center of rotation. And the angle of turning during the rotation is called the angle of rotation. If a thing makes a full turn in its rotation, then its angle of rotation is 360 degrees. A half turn means rotation by 180 degrees and a quarter turn is rotation by 90 degrees. This is a paper windmill. 
It has a rotational symmetry. If you rotate it by 90 degree about the fixed point, the windmill will look exactly the same. In full turn, there are four positions. On rotation through the angles 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree and 360 degree, when the windmill looks exactly the same. Therefore, we can say that it has a rotational symmetry of order 4. Priya, can you tell the shapes around us which have rotational symmetry? Yes. When we slice certain fruits, the cross sections are shapes with rotational symmetry. There are many road signs that have rotational symmetry. Do you know which the most perfect symmetrical figure is? Is it circle? Yes, the circle is the most perfect symmetrical figure. It can be rotated around its center through any angle and at the same time, it has unlimited number of lines of symmetry. Observe these circle patterns. Every line through the center forms a line of symmetry and has rotational symmetry around the center for every angle. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A figure has line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. Regular polygons have equal sides and equal angles. They have more than one lines of symmetry. Mirror reflection leads to symmetry. Rotation turns an object about a fixed point. This fixed point is the center of rotation. The angle by which the object rotates is the angle of rotation. A half turn means rotation by 180 degree. A quarter turn means rotation by 90 degree. Rotation may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. If after a rotation, an object looks exactly the same, we say that it has a rotational symmetry. In a complete turn of 360 degree, the number of times an object looks exactly the same is called the order of rotational symmetry.